Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss about mining frequent subgraph patterns from uncertain graph data. Mining frequent subgraph patterns from uncertain graph data is an important task in several real-time applications. For example, bioinformatics. It is an important method for obtaining and discovering an important and useful data from uncertain large database. It contains a major task which is to find the subgraph pattern which satisfies minimum support threshold. In our system, we implementing an index method. The index is used to reduce the number of comparisons required for computing the expected support of each candidate pattern. It is also enables additional optimization with respect to scheduling and early termination that further increase the efficiency of the method. In data flow, first we are going to import the author paper data set after that to pre-process the data set and then the pre-processed data set has to be loading into the data repository. After that the index value has to be generated because here index method has to be implemented so only we going to generate the index value for each attributes in the data set and then display a graph for each index here index is nothing but like a gra candid graph so here we going to display a graph for each index value and then to construct a subgraph pattern using this index value we going to construct a subgraph pattern and then to calculating the support threshold value which one satisfy this support threshold from that we going to find the frequent subgraph pattern so only here we are going to calculating the support threshold value after that we going to find the first we going to find the frequent index value after from that we going to construct a frequent subgraph pattern let me start the execution of the program first we going to import the protein data set after importing that and then we going to pre-process the data set here we just clicking the process it shows the the processed uh, data set uh, location and then here giving the name just clicking the pre-process the data set support for the feature extraction and then here importing the pre-processed data set After importing the pre-processed data set, just clicking the construction which is loaded into the database and then here we implementing the index method from the data repository the index has to be retrieved. Here we just clicking the select index, the, here we going to uh, select any one of the index value, generator index value. Here the index has to be generated for each attribute. After that here the node generated based on the protein id value okay then here we are going to select any one of the id to construct the graph here and then the clicking the graph pattern it shows the appropriate graph for the selected id value and then here we are going to select the subgraph pattern here based on the index value the subgraph pattern has to be constructed here we are going to select any one of the subgraph pattern and then click the subgraph button the subgraph button has to be generated and then within the subgraph button the uh, candidate graph has to be displayed for the each subgraph button here we just click the reset and then here again going to select any one of the subgraph button and then click the subgraph button and then here the candidate pattern has to be generated for the each subgraph button in this we going to calculating the support threshold for the each subgraph button here we select the subgraph button A and then click the subgraph button support threshold here it shows the support value calculated to subgraph button A here the calculate button has to be stored in the text area in the same way we have to calculate it for the each subgraph button after calculating the support threshold for each subgraph pattern here it shows the message box like ensure the support value has to be calculated for the all subgraph pattern and then here we going to select any one of the subgraph pattern and then here just clicking the minimum support here we select any one of the candidate pattern and then click the validate button it satisfies the minimum support threshold here we have to checking the each subgraph pattern which is satisfy the minimum threshold or not and then next here we find the frequent graph values for each subgraph pattern based on the index value to mining the frequently occurred graph here and then here in the same way we have to calculating the frequent 
frequent values in the each subgraph patterns after finding the uh, each uh, find uh, subgraph patterns frequent values and then go to the next in that uh, we get the final result for the frequent subgraph pattern here we going to construct the frequent subgraph patterns here which uh, we have to uh, getting the subgraph patterns after that we here we clicking the validate button uh, it shows the message box like there is no frequent pattern in subgraph b and uh, there is no frequent subgraph pattern in subgraph f also and then we are here we going to click the remove button it shows to remove the non frequent subgraph patterns those who are uh, non frequent subgraph patterns which are removed here and then here we just click the subgraph pattern it construct the final graph pattern in this we using the index method we construct the frequent subgraph pat pattern without performing the isomorphism testing so it reduce the time to find the frequent subgraph pattern from the large database thank you